For staff planning an off-site student experience, this timeline will keep you in compliance with district policy. Six weeks prior to travel, please fill out the school-related student trip request form. Make sure the location is educational and related to core content. Board approval is needed for all school-related student trips. Four weeks prior to travel, distribute student permission forms, ask your principal to request bus service to destination, and turn in appropriate paperwork to your school's bookkeeper. Two weeks prior to travel, confirm all student permission forms have been returned with appropriate parent or guardian signature. Send duplicate forms if needed. Notify chaperones, make sure they are on the approved volunteer list and assign students to each chaperone. Consult with your school's cafeteria manager about lunch arrangements and let them know how many students will be out of the building during lunchtime. One week prior to travel, review permission slips with the school nurse in regards to medications and potential health risks associated with destination. Confirm student numbers with principal, collect any required payments, and turn in copies of signed permission slips to your school's office staff. On the day of trip, post your attendance before departure. Pass out the agenda and brief your chaperones on location details and procedures. Also gather student lunches to make sure each student will be fed. It's also important to locate and pack your group's emergency kit complete with any student medications. Designate a trusted adult to monitor general safety in the event the lead teacher is not available. Counting students loading and exiting the bus is a good way to make sure no one is left behind. Evaluate pick up and drop off locations with your bus driver to make sure all kids are safe during transitions. Following these guidelines is a good way to ensure your trip is an educational, safe, and fun experience for all involved. Because remember, in Kenton County, it's about all kids.